Grade 4 math, number 38, division and the distributive property. I don't know if you remember what the distributive property is, but we've discussed it a couple times. We've talked about it for multiplication and for addition, but the distributive property of division, which is basically the same thing, has division signs in it instead of the multiplication signs. We break the number apart into add-ends, 16 becomes 10 plus 6. We divide each add-end, 2 goes into 10, 2 goes into 6. Then we add the quotients to get a total quotient. It's easier than doing the division with one big number. So remember, an add-end is the two numbers you add together to get a sum. So we break it up into add-ends, and the quotient is the answer in the division problem. Now, the easiest way to do this is to break the add-ins up as multiples, okay? If you don't remember what a multiple is, a multiple of a number is the product, the answer, of that number times a, a counting number. So multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, because the counting numbers, 5 times 1 is 5, see? Counting number 2, 3, 4... And the reason they say counting number is so that you don't use fractions and you don't use decimals, okay? It's a counting number, a regular, everyday counting number. So, that number, like if we're choosing to find multiples of 5, would be all the answers of the 5 times table. See? A multiple of 3 would be the answers of the 3 times table. A multiple of 20 would be answers of 20 times things, okay? Multiples of 7 are 7 times things. So break them up into multiples when you're finding the add-ends, and it'll make it easier, okay? And I'll show you and explain that in one second even better. We can use the distributive property of division to break the numbers apart so they're easier to divide. So instead of doing 28 divided by 4, we could do 16 plus 12, because 16 plus 12 is equal to 28. And we can divide the 16 by 4, and then we can divide the 12 by 4. See? That's the idea. So that it's easier to divide than doing one big number. So, 16 divided by 4 is 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and that gives us 4 plus 3, which is 7. When you're doing this with a very large number, it really helps. Okay? So now, let's take a look at this one. We've got 68 divided by 4. We could break it into 60 and 8, couldn't we? And divide it by 4. But would that be easy for us? If we broke this into 60 and then 8 little ones divided by 4, would that be as easy as if I broke it into 40 and 28? Because 4 times 10 is 40, isn't it? It would be a lot easier to do this way than it would be to do the 60 plus 8. That would work, but this is easier because it's friendlier numbers and more compatible numbers. Okay? So 40 plus 28 is 60 divided by 4. And what we do is we say 40 divided by 4, which is 10, right? Because 10 times 4 is 40. 28 divided by 4 is 7, because 4 times 7 is 28, and 10 plus 7 is 17. See? It's easier if we choose multiples of 7, I mean of, of 4. If we're dividing by 4, we look for multiples of 4, like 40 and 28, okay? Let's try another one. 45 divided by 3. Should we split it into 40 plus 5 divided by 3? Is 5 a multiple of 3? 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So this doesn't work at all, because 5 isn't even a multiple, is it? What if we split it into 30 and 15? Yes, this one is better, because these are both multiples of 3. Alright? So, if we had 45 little squares here, and we wanted to break it apart, we could do it in 30 plus 15. 30 divided by 3 plus 15 divided by 3. What's 30 divided by 3? Do you know? 3 times what is 30? 10. 
So we'd find 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right here. Okay, so that's 10. So that's 30. And then 15. Okay, so we need 15 divided by 3. So we got 3 here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, so that's 15. All right, so here's 30 and here's 15. So this section right here is 45. See? How many times can 3 go into 15? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See? And 10 plus 5 is 15. So 45 divided by 3 is 15. See? Because we went down 10 columns here and 5 here. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 3 is 30, and then 5 times 3 is this 15. See? So, 45 divided by 3 is 15, this 10 plus this 5. Okay? So let's try one more, and we don't need to completely finish it. I just want to show you. So if we needed to make groups of 7, okay, we need to choose multiples of 7. If we needed to do 91 divided by 7, would we break it up into 90? plus a 1? Can you put 7 into a 1? No. So this one would not be a good way to break it up, would it? But if we broke it up into 70 plus 28, well, I'm sorry, plus 21, 70 and 21 would make 91, and 7 can go into both of these. 7 times 10 is 70, and 7 times 3 is 21. So guess what the answer is? 10 plus 13. 91 divided by 7 is 13. So make sure you break them up into multiples, okay? It's very important you break them up into multiples when you break the add-ends up for the distributive property. It's going to make a very big difference as to whether uh, you're going to be able to solve the problem or not, okay? So remember multiples. I will see you next video. You're doing a great job. I'm really proud of you. Let's keep going. Bye.